Now, here's one of those great stories when science comes forward to support events that took place thousands of years ago in complete accordance with biblical accounts. University researchers in Israel say they can prove there was a solar eclipse that proves what's written in chapter 10 of the book of Joshua. The Bible tells us that soon after the Israelites entered the promised land, Joshua prayed to God to help them in their epic battle, to protect the Gibeonites by stopping the sun. The passage reads, Then Joshua spoke to the Lord on the day when the Lord delivered the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Sun stand still upon Gibeon and new moon in the valley of Alialon. That's Joshua 10:12. The multidisciplinary Israeli team says this account is unique because even though other ancient stories refer to the sun stopping, this is the only one that also mentions the moon. This led them to believe the event was a solar eclipse that happens when the moon blocks sunlight by passing between the sun and the earth. By applying data from NASA, the experts discovered there was only one such total solar eclipse in the region between the years 1500 to 1000 BCE. They say the evidence is clear, that Joshua led the Israelites to victory on the 30th of October in the year 1207 before the Common Era. And because science is so exact, we know it happened precisely at 428 in the afternoon. You can read more about this fascinating development in the Scientist Research paper, which was just published in the most recent edition of the Beit Mikla Journal for the Study of the Bible and its World.